Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Firebase Releases Deep Dives. Today, I'm going to show you updates that we made to app hosting environment configurations and in particular, infinite subdomains. This month, app hosting has had a ton of updates, too many updates to demo in just one episode. So to recap, all of the updates that we have in app hosting at the time of recording, we first added Next.js middleware to app hosting, which allows us to dynamically serve pages based upon user claims or lack thereof. This reduces the complexity of the server and client side code since you extract all of your auth logic out to a higher level component. This won't help protect cached routes, but instead help protect dynamic routes. To learn more about adding user claims to your authorized users, check out the authentication documentation linked below. We additionally enabled multiple app hosting backends in a single Firebase project. Great for staging, pre-prod, and production environment isolation. Now deploy quick changes for debugging without affecting prod. As someone who loves to test in prod, this will help keep my users happy. NX has arrived. Those complicated monorepos that Angular and Next.js developers love are now supported in app hosting. App hosting will automatically analyze your NX mono repo setup, build your dependencies, and deploy just your target app to your backend, all from your Firebase console configuration. Now, the thing that I really want to talk about today is wildcard subdomain support. I love being able to purchase one domain and then have an infinite amount of sites live under that single backend. This has been a requested feature for Firebase hosting forever, but we had architectural limitations. Fortunately, App hosting is a ground up reimagining of hosting for the next generation of web frameworks. What this enables is multi tenancy. This is where you can enable your web application customers to choose their own domain. This helps enable your own personalized SaaS domain for your customers. Now I can allow my customers to call their portal on my site, whatever they want. Coolsite.example.com. Yep. Noe is my favorite.example.com. Absolutely. The other thing that wildcard subdomains can offer is better internationalization. That's a hard word to say, I-18N. Next.js brings domain-based internationalization, or I-18N, which Firebase app hosting can fully capitalize on. This works out of the box. ES.example.com can now better serve my Spanish-speaking users by serving content in Spanish. To get started, First, go to the Firebase console and click on App Hosting in the sidebar and find your previously configured site. Then click on the View Dashboard button and go to Settings. Inside of Settings, click on Add Custom Domain and enter in your custom domain name prefixed with a star. Having the star value will designate that you are accepting wildcard domains for your top level domain. Once that is completed, you may need to update some CNAME values with your DNS provider. Within 24 hours, most time sooner, you're good to go. Now let's take a look at the code to enable this. Check the X forwarded host header because when using app hosting, your service is proxy behind a load balancer. We also, as a fallback, check for the host header value, which helps with local development. We additionally split the host names so we could check in our own backend whether or not this is an improved tenant in our multi-tenant application. Then we render the page with the retrieved value. Now, when we visit our site under a subdomain, we can see the subdomain name appear in the page content. You can use that slug as a tenant identifier and build this into database queries or scope authentication to that identifier using GCIP multi-tenancy. If you want to learn more about all these updates, Julie and Tony wrote a blog article discussing all the July updates. You can find this in the description below. We also have links to wildcard domains with multi-tenancy and Firebase below as well. I heard that there may be more updates coming in soon, so please stay tuned to the Firebase blog and YouTube channel where updates will be first announced. I am Noe and I cannot wait to see what you deploy. Mm -hmm.